just this morning. Amazing. I actually don't know this group. This group is not the one that we saw yesterday afternoon. The one we saw yesterday afternoon is that second grouping that we saw with the tiny baby. This group doesn't have a very small foal in it. And so this is a new grouping of zebras. I wonder where these guys come from. I wonder if they haven't come from Arethusa airstrip side. I know that there were lions apparently on Arethusa, the Salala Pride, um, yesterday afternoon. And maybe they've pushed them from that side towards us. There's the big stallion. He's just having a drink. You can actually see his stripes don't match. They've almost like it's, he's had a big cut on his on his side there where the stripe has shifted out of alignment. There we go. But it's actually not the case. It's just the way that his stripes sort of blend in. But it almost looks like a cut. Sometimes you will see it with male zebras in particular. Because they fight so much and they use these sharp canine teeth that they have, they'll bite one another and they'll cut it and lacerate. And then when the wound heals, the stripes then don't match and are a little bit uneven. But this is a bit of a different case. This is just the natural markings of the zebra. It's not actually that there is a cut there. It's just the way the stripes have come together. So it means you're wondering if this herd of zebra potentially or another herd of zebra would ever interact and mix with another herd. Well, it is possible. The only thing is that in this particular section of the world is that we tend to have a very different situation than what Brent has got in the Mara. Brent has got such a high population of zebra there that the zebras can't afford to be the same as they are here in terms of their social structure. Here, because the numbers are low, males tend to dominate a particular grouping of females and create harems where they will then viciously defend those harems from other males. In the Mara, because of the numbers of zebra that they have there, you'll find that the males tend to just fight over females that come into estrus and the whole big herd moves together like that. So here in the Sabi Sands, when two herds meet, what you might find is that the male will one male will be able to overthrow the other male and incorporate those females into his harem and therefore grow his herd. But essentially, no, the two males will not mix together and allow one another together and mate with each other's females. They're going to try and keep their females to themselves. And that's why the herds here are so much smaller than what you see in other parts of Africa, like Botswana, Zambia, Zimbabwe, and even Kenya. Those herds tend to get a lot larger because they're a lot more transient and there's also a lot more sort of population and, and space and habitat for these zebras to survive yes boy you're gonna have to catch up to your herd before another male sneaks in there there's a few others around today you can see they're gonna start making their way off now also into thickets much like the rest of them a quick drink and then onward and forward and we'll find the water holes are not going to be as big a source of sightings today if this weather continues because it's not going to be hot enough to drive animals to water and because of the wind most of them are going to try and stay in the thickets now while our zebras slowly meander off into the distance we're going to carry on see what else we can find